by the nature of the arms used. Thank you. On behalf of the non-attached, Mr. Stadler, one and a half minutes. Madam President, I'm delighted that we are able to conduct this debate. It is high time that we do so because the possibilities that secret services have to deploy such instruments is increasing. We've seen snipers being used in Venezuela, in Moscow, in Kiev, etc. And it is possible here for secret services to avail themselves of drones. And the number of civilian victims is increasing. And it's called, rather cynically, collateral damage. That's a form of cynicism which is very treacherous and it shows that we must stand up for the values that we wish to protect. Not everything that you can do, should you do, and that applies also for the use of drones. The use of drones is a regular occurrence and they use them to carry out uh, death penalties which have been decided on by nobody other than secret services. Uh, these are civilians that are being killed and they are carrying out these death sentences and they are using them as a threat to conduct their power policy. And if the EU doesn't find a clear language to express this, we have no moral justification to call on another country in this planet to not do the same. Thank you. Grazie, onorevole Lise. Thank you. Mr. Lisek, one and a half minutes. Thank you so much, Madam Chair, Minister, colleagues. In Poland, we say that sometimes you can literally back, bend over backwards and you can't do much, and we really have to be honest.